Welcome to Top Shelf Men. I'm Reese. Today we're going to be discussing The Learning Channel's new TV show, Seeking Brother Husband. And by the title of this video, it seems that cucking has gone mainstream. As I have said before, women's personalities are more agreeable than men's because being socially accepted is way more important for women than it is for men. And with this knowledge, the powers that be always make sure to use the mainstream media culture to influence women and blue-pilled feminized men to change what is socially acceptable in order to warp the meaning of what is considered normal in our society today. So let's go take a look and see what this show, Seeking Brother Husband, is about. But before that, do me a favor, and if you enjoy this content, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help red pill more men. Now, let's check this out. Meet the couple who opened their 11-year marriage to a divorced father so they could grow emotionally and sexually. Kim, 37, and Dustin, 42, have been married for 11 years and opened up their marriage last year. On Seeking Brother Husband, they show their relationship with Vincent, who dates Kim but not Dustin. They say opening their relationship has been challenging mainly because others judge them. Obviously. Kim loves Dustin, her husband, and Vincent, her boyfriend. And that's exactly why she wants to find another partner. A year ago, Kim and Dustin decided to open their marriage specifically in search of another man. When Kim fell in love with Vincent, whom she met through a mutual friend, they, along with, their, with her husband, decided to become a family unit. Their grade school age children play together, and Dustin and Vincent have become friends. Kim has a sexual relationship with both men. Their story is featured on the Learning Channel's series Seeking Brother Husband, where married women seek to date and marry men in addition to their first husbands. On the show, partners grapple with jealousy, confused and unsupportive family members, and lots of uncomfortable conversations about polyamory. So if looking at what we just read with a red pill lens, I'm already smelling some BS. So the first thing, the article states that Kim and Dustin decided to open their marriage specifically in search of another man. So unless Dustin's bisexual or he's a closeted homosexual, what's in it for him? Next, it says uh, Kim has sex with both of them, but her cuck husband and the bull boyfriend are just friends. It's kind of weird. Everything seems to benefit just Kim. It goes back to the whole modern day brouhaha woman empowerment thing. And then the last thing that I noticed that is kind of alarming is that the article also mentions that their grade school children play together, that they're both kind of one family. Anybody that is aware knows that when you have half siblings that are not blood related living together, as the kids get older and they get hormonal, there tends to be issue with sexual impropriety for the simple reason that they're not blood related. You have a bunch of hormonal teenagers under one roof. Now, there's a trailer that's attached to this um, for this show. So let's take a look at the trailer and see what it's about. Let's look at these people, see what these boss babes are all about. Polyandry is the practice of one woman having multiple husbands. I was watching my partner fall for another man right before my eyes. To see me holding hands with somebody else or like kissing someone else, you don't think that would be hard? It wouldn't be easy. To do this lifestyle successfully, you have to be willing to go outside of your old comfort zones. You're okay with her sleeping with other men? Most of the time. I wish I could be everything that you need, um, but I can't. I didn't think I was going to be uh, swapped out. And I don't feel like it's a swap out. Well, that's because you're not getting swapped out. I'm just not having a good time right now. How can you justify you're married? How can you go out with another person? So after watching that trailer, the first weird thing that I noticed is that 
the article states that it's polyamory, which means that she is able to look for other men and her husband is able, their husbands are able to look for other women. But specifically in the trailer, the woman uses the, the terminology polyandry. And what polyandry means is that she is able to look for multiple husbands, but her husband is not allowed to look for any women. Again, more woman empowerment, one-sided, you know, woman gets all the benefits of the beta bucks and she can look for her alpha fucks on the side. The next thing that I noticed is that none of the women involved in this reality TV show that are doing this are even remotely attractive. They all look way over the hill and they all look, frankly, like roasties. And that's one thing that I've always noticed is that whenever there's polyamory or any of these weird new relationships involved, either everybody, it's an ugly, over-the-hill woman, post-wall, surrounded by a bunch of betas. And it never fails to be that. You will never see a polyamorous group of attractive people. That only exists on adult videos. So that preview aside, there's also a two-minute trailer for this show. So let's take a look at the two-minute cuckening trailer. Polyandry is the practice of one woman having multiple husbands, but those husbands cannot have any other partners. I have two husbands who love me. <laughs> There's definitely like a double standard. When a female has multiple partners, it's, oh my gosh, she's such a slut. She sleeps around. How is it the sleeping situation? Not all one room. No. Uh, I'm on room and then she shares a room with him. Oh. You know, you were the first man I let my partner, you know, Kim be with. Uh, I was watching my partner fall for another man right before my eyes. And how so you guys notice that all these guys, like nobody's really alpha, and they use that weird new age, oh, non-gender language, my partner, instead of saying my wife, or my woman, or my girlfriend, it's oh, my partner, because we're all equal. So you can really see that these guys are really feminists, and you know, they're everybody's a beta, and all these women are unattractive. All right, let's keep watching. Three guys like that. To see me holding hands with somebody else or like kissing someone else, you don't think that would be hard? That wouldn't be easy. To do this lifestyle successfully, you have to be willing to go outside of your old comfort zones. You're okay with her sleeping with other men? Most of the time. They assume multiple male partners. It's just about sex. That's definitely not it. I'll only ask you a question. Have you ever been in an orgy? Things really started to get awkward when I heard some noise in the basement, you know, a little moaning, a little groaning, a little do 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 <laughs> Just got real. I wish I could be everything. Again, what self-respecting man is going to kind of see the humor or find it, I don't know, try to make it entertaining about the fact that he can hear his woman, his wife, being railed by another dude and him just sitting there like like, like a dumbass. It's, it's really sickening. That you need, um, but I can't. I didn't think I was going to be uh, swapped out. And I don't feel like it's a swap out. Well, that's because you're not getting swapped out. I'm just not having a good time right now. Why are we talking about a wedding again? We're house shopping right now. I feel like this is really selfish. How can you justify you're married? How can you go out with another person? Okay, so that was a thing. Well, at the very least, from the very beginning on the trailer, they're honest that this is uh, polyandry where only she's allowed to get railed by other dudes while the guy gets to sit in the corner and watch. It it was funny because the, the one guy, he did say, because you're swapping me out and you know you're not upset about it because you're not the one getting swapped out and that's the reality so what this show is trying to push is women's ultimate hypergamy where she has a beta that provides her standard of living provides all the money all the beta bucks 
And she gets to go around and look for alphas to rail her. Again, in our feminist female primary social order, this is a woman's dream where she can have all the benefits of a beta financially while having her choice of men to get railed without commitment by an alpha. Now, you might ask yourself, okay, Reese, why are you bringing so much attention to this show? It's just another stupid show from TLC. Is that these silly shows are what eventually end up changing what's normal in the culture. I remember that the Learning Channel, TLC, they had my 500-pound life. It was a reality TV show where they documented morbidly obese people and daily lives. And that show came out back in 2010, 2011, 2012, around that era. And if you remember back then, it was still considered socially inappropriate to be morbidly obese. Slowly, from those shows becoming part of the mainstream zeitgeist, we now have an entire movement that tries to push and normalize obesity in the mainstream tries to make it celebrated and make make it a prideful thing. And that was only about a little bit over a decade ago from those look at my overweight life shows. Now, the same channel, they are trying to glamorize and they're trying to normalize the push and the drama for this polyandry. Give it enough time. If this show becomes popular, it will also become part of the zeitgeist and you will hear of more people. Instead of just being polyamorous, they're going to be polyandrist and that's going to become normalized in our culture which is further going to push the cuckening of old men going to blue pill more men and it's going to basically drive more men out of the dating market due to basically how horrifically one-sided this way of thinking is and this way of doing relationships is and if this show fails to gain an audience and fails to become popular It will be canceled and give it a few years and eventually they will try again with a different format but for the same ideas of basically trying to mass market the cuckening of men and the blue pilling of men for the benefit of women in today's society. As I always say, you can always avoid this crap by being the best version of yourself, being a top shelf man, by making bank, making muscles, spinning plates. Do not settle for feminists and do not settle for some roasty post-wall woman telling you that it's a good idea for you to be in the other room while she gets railed by Chad and Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I appreciate you making it to the end of this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and share this video to help red pill more men to not accept getting cucked, even even though the mainstream media is trying to make it normal. If you have any questions, always feel free to leave a comment below. And this is Reese. See you next video. Peace.